Hi everyone, I'm Sang Kim. In this video, I would like to cover the Anderson Darling test. The Anderson Darling test is a statistical test of whether a given sample of data is drawn from a given probability distribution, such as normal distribution. These are portraits for Anderson and Darling. Let me use uh, sample length data for uh, this Anderson Darling test. So I selected sample lengths from Virginica species. So it means that there are 50 samples data. Okay. Firstly, uh, in order to do uh, end styling test, we need to uh, rearrange data uh, from smallest to largest. So in Excel, we can do it by sort and filter function. Uh, click uh, sort smallest to largest. Right, the data. So as you can see from smallest sample lengths data to largest. Let me uh, copy and um, paste it here like this way. Okay. So uh, in order to do end styling test in our program, uh, we can you can use add test function yeah, from uh, nor test library. So nor test means normality test. So in this our, our output as you can see uh, we can get A uh, test statistic and P value. All right. So let me show you how to get A and P value in Excel. So let's focus on column uh, C to uh, column F. So for uh, column uh, C cumulative ID, we can get this cumulative ID by one, two, and select two cells here and double click it here. All right. 50 samples. For column D, uh, let's uh, use this uh, statistic. So column D is to calculate uh, cumulative uh, values for normal distribution. So we can think of uh, norm.dist function, uh, x value from B column B, and, comma, and mean and standard deviation here. So mean, press F4, comma, standard deviation here, press F4, comma, and true to specify uh, cumulative, right? So let's calculate a mean and standard deviation by uh, average function, right? And So, okay, then we can double click it, right. This is a cumulative value for uh, sample length data. Okay, so it goes up until like one. So for uh, column E, this part, so Y, N plus one minus I. So N means number of uh, samples and I means uh, uh, ID, yeah? cumulative ID here, this one. So. Uh, for example, when uh, i equals 1, it means y50 plus 1 minus 1. So it means y50. So we need this data, this value uh, for here. And when i equals 2, so 50 plus 1 minus 2 means y49. So we need uh, this data here. So we can get, uh, considering this formula, we can get the value by using VLOOKUP function. So VLOOKUP, lookup value uh, from 50 plus 1 minus, plus 1 minus ID, and comma, and table array from here, and press F4. Comma two, comma first. All right. Then uh, let's move on uh, to column F. So in column F, uh, I want to show you how to get uh, this value, right? Then uh, after calculating S, we can finally uh, calculate uh, end styling test statistic. So. 2 times i minus 1 
and multiply by log of column D plus log of uh, 1 minus column F and over and total sample size 50. Right, then uh, let's get uh, Anderson Darling test the statistic here. So minus 50 minus sum of uh, column F here. Right, this one uh, Anderson Darling test the statistic is same as on our output. Right, uh, let's move on to calculate the p value here. So there are two reference size I have used. So in order to calculate p-value, uh, firstly we need to uh, adjust AD uh, Anders Darling test statistic by using this uh, formula Z. Uh, so G equals Anders Darling test statistic times one plus not point seven five over fifty plus two point two five over n square. 50 square right then finally for uh, p-value calculation we need uh, this table so uh, when you get uh, Anders Darling test statistic uh, the p-value formula uh, could be different by its value so in our case the uh, Anders Darling test statistic, statistic is 0 0.56, so around here. So we can use this formula, right? So uh, exponential 0 0.9177 minus 4.279 times adjusted AD uh, minus 1.38 times AD squared right this is same as uh, this one so uh, in this case uh, we can say that uh, we cannot reject null hypothesis so it means that we accept null hypothesis the uh, null hypothesis for uh, endless styling test statistic the data follows uh, normal distribution so we can say that the sepa length for Virginica species uh, follows normal distribution. This is how we can interpret uh, this result. I hope it was useful for you to understand uh, endless darling uh, test for uh, normality. I hope it was useful. Uh, so please click like and subscribe uh, if you want to see more useful video clips in the future. Thank you.